we are taking two regular languages l1 and l2 i am assuming as in a regular languages here l1 and l2 both are regular languages okay is it clear my voice is audible everyone yes babu is it clear yeah fine so here you see L1 and L2 both are the regular languages. L1 and L2 both are regular languages. Concatenation means you know very well dot one followed by other. Suppose I'm having a regular expression A star and another regular expression B star. If I'm doing a concatenation between A star and B star, I'll be getting A star dot B star. Am I right or not? So like that. Okay, is it clear? A star dot B star I'll be getting. So in this means A star followed by B star. Suppose I want to find L2 dot L1 means B star dot A star like that. So we know very well that when you are taking two regular languages and if you are doing concatenation between them, definitely it will be regular. But we have to prove it. Proving is important here. Tomorrow if you get a question, closure properties of regular languages, you have to prove it. So for using that proof, we are using regular expression. We can say that L1 is a, L1 is a regular expression. And, sorry, L1 is a regular language. That regular language and in return I am converting into, and I am representing the form of a regular expression. And that regular expression I am calling it as R1. Whereas in L2, Whereas L2 is a reg regular language 2, regular language 2, I can say that regular language 2, I am converting into regular expression 2. Okay. So here R1 dot R2. What I am doing here? R1 dot R2. So R1 dot R2 in the sense what? R1 dot R2 means I am doing concatenation. When you do concatenation definitely, R1 dot R2 means it is a close. So this is one way to prove. This is one way to prove. If this proof is enough if you want somebody says you to prove that concatenation l1 l2 regular this proof is enough to say but coming to the another proof i'm using epsilon nfa is it clear the proof of regular expression please you need to reply with your audio then only i can continue further otherwise it is waste of explaining and wasting my valuable time here please respond is it okay or not okay sir okay fine so this is, uh, is it very clear or not? So whatever I'm talking, the face and all, everything is visible properly. Yes. Actually, I'm planning to take on the board, but here the wire is very less, so I can't take. No problem. See here. Now, so it's another proof by using epsilon and FA. What I'm doing here, I'm taking one FA1 that is of regular language L1. I don't know what is that in a finite automata, but simply is giving one state. This is initial state. From initial state is going to final state. Second one, again, this from initial state to is going to final state. Now I want to do concatenation between these two finite automata. See, regular languages can be represented by using a regular expression as well as by using a the finite automata. So here I'm taking a finite automata. Two finite automata I'm taking L1 dot L2 I'm doing. So what is the rule I need to do here? So there are certain rules. I already explained when we are converting epsilon NFA to NFA or epsilon NFA to DFA, we are following certain rules, right or not? Here, yeah, so L1 dot L2. So what I need to do L1 dot L2 means what I'm doing here, listen carefully. This first I'm writing this FA1, then FA2 I'm writing. So this FA1's you know, final state, I'm making as a non-final and I'm giving a connection to the initial state of next FA, okay? That's it. That is, that is nothing but L1 dot L2 and it accepts. You know very well what we have done, simply proving L1 dot L2 means one regular expression followed by another regular expression. That is called concatenation operation. The same thing I have done here. I have, I have taken this L1, I have taken this L1, 1, 2, then I have applied this initial, this 2 I made a non-final and I just I given a connection like this to this, then that is done. That's it. This is L1 dot L2. So it accepts. Here L1 is equal to null, L2 is equal to any regular expression. L1 is equal to null means null set. It is null. L2 is any regular expression. So when I am doing any regular expression, it can be anything. It can be A plus B whole star or it can be anything. So when I am doing L1 dot L2, definitely null followed by something will be null only. So L2 dot L1 also will be null. Okay. This is one example I have given here. Is it clear? Concatenation operation is clear or not? Any doubt you are having? Please respond those who are having doubt. If you are clear, please mention that you are clear. Yes, is it clear? Sai Arshita? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir, clear. 
so just to your when you are writing the properties of concatenation of regular languages you have to give one condition what you have to give that uh, you have to prove it by any one of this by using a regular expressions by using a finite data meta finite data means we are using epsilon and a figure to prove so it can be done in uh, two ways so by using a regular expression by using a epsilon any one of the method you can follow and you can write in examination but the explanation should be clear so if, what is the l1 l1 is a regular language one l2 is a regular language two now i am applying concatenation between l1 and l2 that i need to tell you l1 dot l2 when i am doing what is going to happen so l1 dot l2 means again i am taking that l1 i am representing in the form of a regular expression and that regular expression i am representing with r1 and l2 regular language i am representing a regular expression that is r2 then r1 dot r2 that is very simple r1 followed by r2 that's it that is a, that is a proof i can say when that r1 dot r2 is nothing but it is a regular expression again in return regular expression again it can be written in the form of a regular language so in that way you can prove otherwise you can use epsilon nfa so while using epsilon nfa is also important epsilon nfa also you need to use okay epsilon nfa by using epsilon nfa what we have taken we have taken two finite data metas and then just we followed one followed by another we have written the initial state of the next finite data meta will be connected to the first states first uh, finite data matters final so that final we are making as a non final which you can see in the diagram okay in state diagram you can see is it clear everyone yes anybody is having any doubt in this please respond are you listening to the class or not chakradhar 512 Five twelve are you available or not? Not available. Five fifty one. Yes, sir. Five fifty one is clear. I'll call the names. Uma Mahi. Yes, sir. Nishra, Ankita. Yes, sir. Where are the remaining students? Five not five Manasa. Yes, sir. Is it clear, Vivek? Vivek, he is also not listening. He kept that audio on, the class on, went off somewhere. Anusha, Arun, Francis Wilson. Yes, sir. Five fifty one already informed. Manoj Reddy, five eight two. Yes, sir. Five not nine. Yes, sir. Five forty-three. Yes, sir. Saikat Kumar. Yes, sir. So remaining people are not available. They are not listening. Means they are not available. No problem. Let's see. Yeah. So this is what about the concatenation, which I have given in the explanation. The next property we are going to discuss. Please make a note and give a this, submit the notes to me. Just to forward to my WhatsApp number. Get to my number. You need to post the notes. Otherwise, post in your class only. In our class group also, you can post. Not a problem. But post to me because some people are feeling little disturbance about it. <laughs> so next property is concatenation we have done now we will be seeing the reversal what is this reversal reversal is important see reversal of a regular language is regular first of all you should know what is that reversal sir how can you tell what is the reversal i am taking one regular language that is ab comma aa ba then when i want to find the reverse of this language what can i write i can write ba comma see ba what i am doing ba b a b w a that's right from left to right i am writing that is the l reverse means i am finding the reverse of a regular language what i am doing i am finding the reverse of a regular language l is equal to a b c now this is you know this is a concept of reverse 
So first of all, you should understand, no, reverse of regular language is regular only. Just now I've given a proof by taking a small example. I made you to understand that if you, you can consider, if you consider this part, here L is equal to AB comma double ABA. So reverse, L of reverse is nothing but BA. So BA, AB, see, I'm doing left to right reverse, I'm doing, that's it. I can say. But L is equal to ABC. Now I want to give a proof. How can I give a proof? By using a finite automata, I am giving a proof because everybody knows, sir, reverse is nothing but, sir, if you write ABCD, write on D, C, B, A. That is reverse, sir, over. Like that, if you write, you will not get marks in the examination. You have to prove it. Proving is also important. Proving plays a very vital role in the examination to pass a subject to gain a good marks. So that is possible with the help of this. If I am taking L is equal to ABC, we know very well the reverse of L is nothing but CBA. Am I right or not? It will be a CBA. For that, I need to construct, I am constructing a finite automata for that. So construction of finite automata. What is the construction of finite automata here? C, A to B, B to C and C to D. D is a final state because it is accepting the string A, B, C. So from A to B, I am taking with input A, B to C with input B, C to D d with input c so this is a, a finite automata for the regular language for the given regular language that is abc now when i am going when i am going for the uh, what can i say l reverse l reverse means reverse of a regular language when i am going for the reverse of a regular language what i need to consider what i need to do here what i am doing i have given two steps formula here please see this formula please make a note of it interchange initial and final states only interchange initial and final state means the final state will become initial and initial state will become final. No need to change their names also. Just change it. That initial will become final. Final will become initial. Now reverse every edge. That's it. You see here. A, B, C, D. D is a final. So D will become initial. And A is, uh, here A is initial. That initial will become final here. So what it will happen? So A, B, C, D. It will look like this. So D is the initial state. So what I am writing here? C, B, A. Now see, it is accepting the string C, B, A. Is it clear? So this is what the proof I have done for the reversal of regular language. Means proving in the same way, it's uh, like uh, if you are proving in that way, simply writing and showing it's not correct. So you need to construct one final data meta and you have to prove that the reverse is coming like this. The reverse is also getting accepted. And that too, it's a regular expression only. C, B, A is also a regular expression. So when I'm finding a reverse of a regular language, I'm getting a regular language only. Am I right or not? If I'm getting regular language, then what is that? It is accepted. It is accepted. Reversal is closed under the regular languages. To prove I'm writing like this. So we can take few examples here. What is the first example here? L is equal to null. <coughs> what is there here? L is equal to null and L reverse is equal to L reverse. What is L reverse? L reverse will also become a null. L reverse will also become a null. Suppose I'm having L, L is equal to A star B star. What is L reverse? B star A star. It's very simple because if you're having A star followed B star means I'll write B star followed by A star because it's the reverse of a regular language. Okay, now is it clear? Now, you see the third one I have given here. This is not 3L. It is the third one. Third one, L is equal to A plus B old star. What is the reverse of this language? It will be again A plus B old star because what you can make A plus B old star, all possible things will be coming. No, if I write A plus B old star, Epsilon, A, double A, triple A, so on, any number of A's, then you know, any number of B's, then afterwards uh, A, B, B, A, all possible this will come. Now, even if you reverse the same thing, you'll get again. That's why I'm writing A plus gold star. In all the cases, you'll not get the same thing. It depends upon the language, what you are giving. It depends upon the regular expression, which is given. Okay, it depends upon the regular expression, which you are giving. So you need to take care in that way. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, respond. Yes, sir. Clear. Clear. So please take this. Take this first. Take this. Important. It is make a proper note of it. Completed. Later. 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 Written or not? If you have written, then I will move to the next topic.
Yes, completed ma everyone respond every time i need to tell you respond respond vidya 543 yes sir is it completed rating completed complete okay fine we'll go to the next Next, we have seen a concatenation reversal. We have seen now we are going to see clean closure and positive closure. Clean closure and positive closure. So, what is this clean closure, positive closure? You know very well from the starting, we were telling that clean closure is nothing but A star. Clean closure will give you nothing but A star. A star in the sense what we know very well that is nothing but epsilon, right? Epsilon, I'm betting as Z as of now, but epsilon symbol, you know very well, I hope, right? Epsilon. Then we'll be getting one A, then followed by double A, followed by triple A. Like this, it continues, right or not? Continues like this. Dot dot. I can take. Coming to the A plus. What is A plus here? A plus. A power plus. A power plus includes what? A power plus includes everything same, but epsilon will be deleted from here. Double A followed by triple A dot dot like this it goes on so i hope you understood this is a difference between a star and a plus we know very well but clean closure and positive closure are closed under regular languages or not yes a star is a regular language you write down yes any is you write that's a regular expression that's a regular language only positive closure also it is accepted but proof they want proof prove then only you talk otherwise don't talk they say prove it how it is possible to prove proving also should be possible that is here I am taking this regular language, this as a regular language. This is a regular language, whole power star. Okay, whole power star is nothing but it is a regular. Regular language, whole power star is nothing but regular. So, regular language, whole power star means what? Any regular language I am doing and applying a clean closure. Once if I apply a clean closure on a regular language, are you getting the regular language or not? You need to check in that way. See, regular language, I'm taking any one of the regular languages and I'm applying a star over it. Means I'm applying a clean closure. Once you apply a clean closure, is it giving a regular language or not? It should give a regular language. Yes, it is giving. I know very well. You also know very well. But we have to prove it. How to prove? Now, in the same way, we are having the second one here. That is nothing but regular language, positive closure. Full power plus we write positive closure in the sense what it should be a regular again it should be regular you i know very well it is a regular only because it gives i have taken an example also but how to prove in the examination how to write a proof for this there are two proofs i'll explain two proofs to you the first one is nothing but using a regular expression very simple this one is very simple but before explaining or before writing the proof you need to be very clear that l be the regular language and r be the regular expression that regular language I am representing the form of a regular expression R. Now I am applying clean closure on regular language that is L star. That is L star. See this regular language I am representing the form of a regular expression that is nothing but capital R. So when I'm applying L star that is nothing but I'm applying a clean closure on L then it will be giving a R star. Am I right or not? R star it is giving. So R star. Now, in the same way, R star means what? Whatever the A is there, it will all star. So, it is a regular language only. It's a regular language, man, because you're applying clean closure. Clean closure means what? All possible things, all possible alphabets will be coming over the given language. So, it's a regular language like that you have to prove, you have to write it. Simply, if you write these two lines, nobody will give you marks. I have written to make you understand. At the same time, I'm telling you, please make a note of it. That's why listening to the class is very important. Now, positive closure of L, that is nothing but positive closure of L that is R positive R positive means all possibilities of A's and B's will get excluding epsilon in the same way what are the expression I have given for L star the same expression will be for positive closure of regular language now see now by using epsilon in a way I am going to prove it here I have taken a regular language that is this one
regular language 1 2 from 1 to 2 2 to 1 i'm having this is a regular language ma i have taken one finite that regular language i am represented in the form of a finite automata you should come to know we whatever we have completed our automata finite automata dfs nfs epsilon nfs all are nothing but they are the representation of regular languages right or not in the same way we are having other representation that is a regular expression same regular language can be represented in the form of a regular expression also right so see here what I am doing, I need to find now L star. So what should be done here? L star means, please note a point here. I need to create a new initial state and new final state. So this is a new initial state because I have given a state of this one and have given a state number two here. I need to create new initial state and new final state. So new initial state, new okay, I it is given. Now what should I do? This new initial state should be the initial of L star. Then I should give a connection to the initial state of regular language then this final state of regular language will become a non-final and i'll give a connection to the new final state at the same time from initial to the final i'm having a connection at the same time from two to one also i'm having the connection this gives nothing but l star because l star means you should accept epsilon also for ac accepting epsilon means directly you should go to the final state with empty string that's why i'm writing like this that's why i've given from new initial to the new final a path i have given a path so these points you should note you should make a note of it then you can write in the examination this algorithm at the same time you can write you can design a df a finite automata and you can explain there and you can score good marks okay is it clear ma respond yes sir what about the remaining students are sleeping yes sir is it clear sleeping or clear clear sir clear fine next one now see i want to find for a positive closure positive closure means very simple simply the same thing here but no need to give from initial to here okay no need to give just to give the connection as it is here but no need to give from initial to the new final that's it this is your positive closure same for the same l again create a new initial again new final then give this new initial new initial state will become a initial state of l positive closure then this new initial state to your else your regular language initial state should be given a link from there you should go to the new fi new final state so this uh, uh, final state of regular language will become a non final and we are giving a link to the new final state again 2 to 1 we are having a link that's it that is a way to represent a finite with a finite automata and uh, this is an example i can say where it will be used for you to prove in the examination please make a note of algorithm also whatever you are doing you please write in the words and to design the automata you design a finite automata that is enough to write this all things clear yes. let us go to the some examples also i have given well, let us take some examples i don't think so we are having examples here We'll go to it a few examples. Please take examples of this one. Very, very simple examples normally have not much difficult examples. Properties are simple. Yeah, I have not given examples to the previous class, but let us do take here. First one. L is equal to null. L is equal to null. This gives L is equal to null. This gives nothing but L star. L star is equal to I can write as open parenthesis epsilon close parenthesis this is epsilon in case if you are not feeling to write i can give like this i can write like this by using this pencil epsilon you can write like this l is equal to minus l star will be null what is l for this already we have done if you remember in the first class i have given certain simplifications of regular expressions there i have given open your notes revise it once then you'll understand this l power positive closure of regular language will be null okay this is in the first example when you go to the second example l is equal to a plus b whole star 
L plus B old star. So uh, sorry, uh, L plus B old star. So what will be if I apply L star again? Is there any meaning if I apply L star again? See, this simplification also I have given in the previous classes. Previous class means in the first class I have given this explanation. A star old star is nothing but again it is A star only. Okay, it's not A. It's A star old star, A star old star. If you are applying once again clean closure to this, doesn't mean it's meaning same. That is nothing but A plus B old star only. So you are getting again a regular expression when applying a clean closure. See when see Nana, it's very clear closure properties means you are seen in your lower classes also. Suppose if you consider two rational numbers, rational numbers are closed in addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. Right? Division, I don't think so it is possible, but remaining addition, subtraction, multiplication possible. Because when you are dividing any two rational numbers, you will get a rational number. Uh, when you are multiplying two rational numbers, you will get a rational number. So it is a closed. At the same time here also, when you are applying a, any closure on a regular language, you should get a regular language only. Uh, we are getting it, but you have to prove after proving you should give some examples then that evaluator will be very much satisfied with your answer and he'll be going to give you good marks so gaining marks gaining knowledge also is important first gain a knowledge how to represent that is a secondary after representing good you'll get a good marks now if i write l power plus what is the answer for l power plus l power plus is also a plus b old star only Again, it is A plus B, whole star only. Okay. Like that, many examples are there. If you apply, what will happen? Nothing. If I apply whole power plus, it's nothing but again, I'll get A plus B, whole star. No problem. We'll apply here. We'll apply like this, whole power plus. You see, I've given you this simplification. Now, on proof also, I've given in the long back. That will remain again as A plus B, whole star. A plus B, whole star. Okay. So like there many examples are there. These are the two examples which I have given here. In number of examples are there which you can cover in the examination because sometimes they may ask you to prove the properties. I am expecting a question directly from closure properties in the semester exam also. Then you can write few properties and few rules you should because if they are giving for six marks, I don't six properties or twelve properties and give us expression small proof and write given two three examples. Then you'll get a good score in that. Okay, fine. So this is what uh, uh, we are having here to about uh, regular expression of, uh, of what of clean closure and positive closure we have done. Now let us go to the new one that is a prefix. How many are writing NPTEL exam? Let me know. Prefix. It is examples. Examples of clean closure and positive closure. Positive closure, okay, fine. Now take a prefix. You know very well prefix. Already we have done prefix operation can also be called as prefix operation can also be called as why this prefix came now. Prefix operation, it can also be called as init. Init. Okay. Init. In init it to become. Init. You can call it as init. The other name for the prefix is init, please remember. So, what is the prefix of regular? The prefix of regular prefix of regular is regular only, right or not? 
If you take any prefix of any regular language, you will get a regular language only. That is means prefix is closed under regular languages. We know it, but how to prove? We want proof now. So take a proof. L is equal to A comma B comma C. Don't write comma. Direct write on A B C. So this is a language I'm considering for taking proof. Now, how can I take language I have taken? That language, it is a regular language, or it I can it's a regular language it is. So now the regular language, what I am doing, this regular language, I am representing the form of a finite automata. What is my language here? ABC. So please draw the finite automata here. See here. Initial state. This is second. This is three. This is four. And this will become a final. Why it will become a final? I'll make you to understand this one. This is initial state. From here, I'm going with respect to A. I'm going with respect to B. And I'm going with respect to C. OK, see. You can mark anything, 1, 2, 3, or whatever you want. You can write 1, 2, 3 here. Problem one, two, three, four, like that. You can write, or you can write any symbol, so it's not an issue. But here, when you are converting, what you should do when you are converting into the prefix, there are certain logarithm here. Algorithm, or you can say algorithm we are having. What is that simple step? You please make a note. From initial, from initial to final. Initial to initial to final state, initial to final state path, make every state as final. Every state you need to make final. That's it. Every state you need to make it as final. So now why should I make final like that? Because you understand what is the prefix of ABC means I can say prefix of ABC is A, prefix of ABC is AB, prefix of ABC is ABC, or I can I can say ABC like that. Right? For that, I am constructing the finite automata. Once again, see here, this is an initial state. At the same time, this will become a final state because prefix of ABC is A. So all I need to make all the states as final. So now see here, this as initial, with respect to small a, this with respect to small b, this is with respect to small c. And you can add on the same numbers here. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear? That's it. This is what a prefix operation proof. That's it. So you should write down, take the one language. Draw the finite automata and write down the step and then convert into this prefix one. So this is P of L. I can write prefix of L. P of L means prefix of L language it is. Okay. Next. Take on some example here. The first one is. L is equal to A star. L is equal to A star. What is the prefix of A star? Definitely prefix of L is also A star only. Prefix of L is equal to A star. Now suppose if I write L is equal to A star, then B star. 
what is the prefix of l p of l means i can add p of l or prefix of l p r e f x also you can add what is the prefix of l there is again same thing no a star again b star will come okay means all possibilities of a star b star will come okay like that many examples we are having many many examples we are having like that is it clear everyone any doubt you are having in prefix operation please ask what happened are you available or not yes 501 please yes sir. yes sir 501 yes okay fine next to 5 17 series 5 a2 17 series 5 a2 any doubt anybody is having please respond what are the properties i have explained till now in the last class and today's class tell me if you are having any doubt so that i can give expression once again 517 528 clear sir yes sir 503 Why not three? Yes, sir. So why so many are absent? Yes, tomorrow we are having class then. Now what you will do tomorrow's class? Tomorrow's class what? Yes, Some people are NPTEL exam, sir. How many are having NPTEL exam? Yes, how many are having? Uh, actually, I'm not sure of the count, sir. No problem. Those who are not having in a, this NPTEL exam, they need to attend the class. They need to listen. Let me take the attendance here. One minute. Okay, sir. Today is 18th, no? 18th CSC B I have taken morning. This is CSC A. <coughs> RS phone. 16 series 523 because absent is I want 5 E2. 511, 16 series done, 17 series, 511, 527, 545, 556, 5C7, 5D4, 5G0, all are absent, 17 series. Now I'm going to the 18 series, 501, Present, sir. 502, 503, 503. Okay, present sir. Okay, five not four. Five not five. Present sir. Five not six. Five not six. Five not seven. Five not eight. Five not nine. Five not nine. Present sir. Five ten. Five ten. Five eleven. Five twelve. Five twelve present. Sir. Okay, five twelve. Five twelve. You are not responding in the class. You are going somewhere or what? No, sir, I was listening, sir. I mean, network issue, sir. Okay, can you tell me what properties were discussed today? You are talking about prefix operation, sir. Before that? Uh, before that, uh, I should have asked. You do one thing, immediately you send me your number, your this notes, running notes, have you written or not? No, sir. Why are you not writing? Is This means you are roaming somewhere. Why are you not writing? 
see you told network issue that's why i did not reply i can at least you can put a chat message now putting chat messages is not a problem you can put a chat message chat message you are not putting you are not writing the notes you are telling some network issue if you are escaping you will be escaped i am telling you you are cheating me no you are cheating yourself because important class it is it's up to you i can't say anything more than this you are telling notes is not written you are telling network issue network issue is what was a network issue quite well hello ha ah, hello tell me sir i was not able to join sir a few minutes and after that it was like fluctuating power off and on okay. okay see that it should it should not happen next time correct it okay sir okay next 513 5 14 5 15 5 16 5 17 5 18 yes sir present sir 